Hello. Oh, that didn't crack. I was so nervous just now. I think I've cracked almost every single Apple Watch I've ever owned, and that would have been really bad. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I haven't even looked at myself in a mirror uh, as I've just gotten back from the gym. Hopefully we're in like somewhat of a decent condition. I kind of felt immediately inspired to start filming because I really am just tired of being a bad cook. One of my favorite Instagram accounts to follow, I followed her for forever, is Rachel Good Eats. She's actually Seattle based. Hello, and obviously like by the name, you know, she makes Good Eats. She's a registered dietitian. She's also a CPT and a PES, which I think means she has her <laughs> performance enhancement specialization. It's another program through NASM, which is the academy that I'm taking my CPT course through as well. So Rachel, she's pretty dang cool. She made this like pesto chicken salad -y thingy on her Instagram account. And for whatever reason, it made me want to try to cook chicken. And chicken is the one meat among many actually that I hate cooking, but chicken is like top of the list. I think it's really easy to mess up. I think it's actually quite a skill to get it to be tasteful. And this recipe actually looks a little bit approachable. The one downside I am realizing is that this is a pesto chicken salad of sorts and I have no basil, therefore no pesto. But I'm gonna maybe do spinach instead and see how that works. Um, because I do have pine nuts. So maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Okay, interestingly enough, I'm gonna start off by boiling some water. I don't know if it just makes it like more moist or something, but I'm gonna put these in there once it's boiled for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's make our mock pesto. <laughs> I feel like I should research first replacement for pesto for basil. That's what I mean. The best substitutes are either leafy greens such as spinach, kale, arugula, watercress, or even seaweed or herbs such as parsley, cilantro, mint, sage, or tarragon. Better yet, use a combination. I do have spinach and arugula. I'm really hoping I still have pine nuts. Please, please, please. Why did I have to clean out my pantry? Are you kidding me? Okay, so maybe I got a little bit too excited and I'm trying to make pesto without any pesto ingredients. This is so embarrassing. I feel like I'm about ready to just pick out nuts from my mixed nut container. <laughs> what a way to start a video. Do you hear this? It is hailing like rocks. <laughs> wow. Do you see the hail? Oh my gosh! There's already like a full sheet of hail on the ground as if it was snowing. Oh my God. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, what it, happened? It's hailing so badly outside. It looks like it's snowing. Like the ground is covered in white. Really? I'll have to send you a picture. It's nuts. Oh well, where I am, there's no hail. You're kidding. No, it's dry. Oh, uh, here, can I go on FaceTime? Holy crap. It's nuts and it's so loud. At first I saw really heavy rain. I'm like, oh, thank goodness we didn't go on our walk or we already went on our walk today. And then when it started hailing, I'm like, really, thank goodness. I just can't get over how freaking nuts that is. It never hails here. Not that I've seen. And Keith said he was 10 minutes away and it wasn't hailing. So we're just underneath some big fat, dark cloud. Try and touch this as least as possible. Uh, Woohoo! So proud of myself. Okay, now we will be conquering the food processor. <laughs> Throwback to when I didn't have a blender and this is what I would use because it's a hand-me-down. <laughs> Rachel says I need like two big handfuls of my greens, one third cup extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, sea salt, nutritional yeast, garlic. I can do most of that. <laughs> I kind of had this thought to maybe use a little bit of pasta sauce, but I'm kind of worried that's gonna ruin everything. But I have a little bit of this left, so maybe, I don't know. I also am gonna use hemp seeds kind of in replace of not having any real pine nuts, just to kind of give it like a little bit of that nutty flavor. And I'm gonna spill them all over the counter. We're gonna do a bit of cashews, make it a little creamy. That's my contribution of the nut category. Is that stuffed enough? <laughs> I never listen to the fill line. And I always bites me in the butt. Okay. <laughs> Wow, really getting some good momentum here. I hope that's good enough. I really couldn't tell you. Chicken, you know, still looks gross, but um, manageable. I think I'm gonna set myself up a little station here. Look at me conquering the chicken. That is just 
Meh. I literally keep hearing weird noises and I'm pretty sure it's lightning and thunder. I love a good storm. I mean, when you're safe and inside, it's just kind of like, I don't know, nostalgic or you can just feel really cozy. Okay, we're gonna dump all the chicken into this bowl. I tried to pick out any pieces that made me feel uneasy. That's why I hate chicken. I'm so bad at cooking it, but I boiled it. I don't know. And now I'm just going to basically like mix all of this in as best as possible. I think I put too much lemon in. That's the only thing I'm smelling. Come on, I have such high hopes for this. I feel like I could at least try one, you know? Not bad. It's lacking something. I kind of feel like I should have used a little bit more olive oil, but I ran out. But I never make things like this. Like literally never, unless it's green chef. This is rarity beyond rarity beyond rarity. Honestly, I'm just gonna put this in some arugula. Maybe add a little bit of avocado. And I've got myself some lunch. Here's my finished concoction. I added half an avocado. Basically just put it all on a bed of arugula. And then I sprinkled some of this on top. I found this at Trader Joe's not too long ago. It's basically just Parmesan, essentially. I wanna say the first ingredient is dried cheddar cheese blend. So yeah, it's literally just dried cheese. <laughs> but it's nice and handy because we always run out of Parmesan, but somehow this thing lasts. And I'm gonna say it's like maybe an eight out of 10. It's kind of flavorless in some ways. So I definitely messed up somewhere. I probably needed more garlic naturally, but uh, I'm so proud of myself. You all might know this by now, but I have my friend Amanda, fellow creator, help me edit my videos. She does like the big first portion of the video where I stutter and I, I mumble and she cuts all of that out. It's the biggest blessing of my entire life. She actually just launched her own media company where she's going to be, you know, taking in clients and whatnot as an editor, a freelancer, all the stuff. It's on her website. I'll link it. And I'm just laughing because I'm sitting here like going through the video that she sent me back, right? And... I filmed myself working out in the living room. <laughs> and we've got, you know, like normal footage, normal footage, whatever. Like, you know, I'm doing some shoulder raises and then all of a sudden, like, I, I must, I just, I, I guess I just go on the floor or something. I'm like, what's happening here, Taylor? I literally just sent Amanda a Snapchat. I'm like, girl, if this is the kind of stuff you're editing, you need a raise. What? What? What in the foot? What? Is, what? I couldn't tell you what move that is either. She's getting really good at catching. Watch. She's gonna not catch it when I say that. Dang, girl! Good morning. I have a video call with my personal trainer this morning. I'm just like a check in, I guess. I don't know. And she lives in Colorado, so our time difference is not drastic. But I think she must be an early bird. And I was too scared to say, like, <laughs> This is really early. I'm desperately needing a little help from my friend. At the end of this week though, I am so excited. I'm going to Kansas City with one of, not one of, like my best, best, best friend. We've known each other since we were in the first grade and she lives in San Diego. I live in Seattle. We see each other at this point, maybe once or twice a year if she comes to visit or vice versa. If we both are home at the same time, we live one street apart and I'm, I'm so excited to see her. I'm just excited to go like have fun in a random city that we've both never been to. I know you're probably thinking like, why in the heck? Kansas City, why Missouri, why Kansas? This trip honestly inspired us not just going to, you know, like big cities, New York, Chicago, LA, but rather making this annual tradition where we go to unconventional places every single year and we explore the kind of big cities, but really small town vibes. I love it. Um, it was inspired by a lot of different things. I highly encourage this idea. Everybody take it because I'm taking it from somebody else too. And I think it's a wonderful way to see this country. <laughs> My point being here though, that Kansas City, I believe is two hours ahead of us right now. So it helps for me to be waking up earlier and like getting into the groove of things. But when you first start off, it's hard. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. Look how bomb diggity this looks. All right, we have protein oatmeal with cashew butter, cinnamon, and a little bit of fiber. And I'm ready to chow the heck down. Take into your hands a plan. Your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credibility. Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power. Don't be f***ing sour. Take a cold shower. Okay, I just spent an hour, like, stressing out on Zillow. <laughs> 
but I think I'm gonna get myself to the gym. It's about 10 a.m. now. I kind of feel like I've tried to work the system well enough where I am finding cracks in the day where it's not too busy. It's only like in the evening, obviously, like three to 7 p.m., not fabulous, but sometimes that's the only time you have to go and that's okay, but if I can avoid it, I wanna avoid it. This is what my trainer has planned for me today. It's called Two Tickets to the Gun Show. A back and buys workout. I love back and buys. Such a fun day, such a good day. I hadn't gotten a haircut in a minute, so it feels good to have just a little bit off, but I think it's actually too short now to put into my little clips for the gym without some layers falling off. So now I'm just trying to do like some kind of low bun to not put too much pressure on my little hair strand. But I look so bad with a low bun and I sweat so much. If I wear a tank top like this, like my hair is sticking to my back for sure. <laughs> I kind of feel like I didn't coordinate this outfit very well, but I actually don't care. I always feel like I'm the one person in the gym that's just kind of like a little bit dressed strangely. It doesn't matter, you know? We're moving our bodies and that's what I feel comfortable in and that's all that matters. But at the same time, this maroon doesn't match with this blue, which doesn't match with this black and this waistband. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I like to do my warm up here because I get all weird about lying on the gym floor. Even on the mats, I feel kind of gross sometimes. So I do like my little active stretches and whatnot like if it's a glute day, I'm, I'm activating my glutes. I'll do it all here and then we hit the road. <laughs> Actually my finished product. I added in arugula and the pesto chicken that I made yesterday. I'd say she looks pretty stinking delicious. Oh, there goes my pickle. I don't know what in the heck has come over me, but I, I guess it's experimental week because I'm about to cook a carbonara. Yes, this is the correct channel. You are watching Taylor's video. She's confused too. I have this massive like bucket of protein spaghetti that I thought was gonna go old. And I'm like, okay, well I need to make this tonight. We have eggs. Let me look up this recipe for carbonara. And this one looks simple enough. It's from the New York Times, I think, which is a little bit random. And I'm going to have to kind of adjust it a bit because the pasta is already made. So I don't have pasta water and the serving sizes I think are gonna be a little bit off. But the fact that this is even a possibility that I am trying to make this is like a freaking miracle. So for, first we had the pesto chicken minus the pesto. And now what? It's a new leaf, baby. Spring cleaning. My habits. We are going to need to eliminate uh, all judgment from all audience members and myself included. Okay, we're gonna give ourselves lots of grace as I'm trying to mimic this recipe. For the very first time, very confused. I'm supposed to fill this with hot water and just kind of like let it sit. I think I'm supposed to, I don't know, warm the bowl. We're confused too. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. And now I think I'm gonna heat up a little bit of oil and my meat of choice in this is going to be bacon. <laughs> Normally it requires like a lot, probably better of an Italian meat, which I do not have. So this is the best we're gonna do right now. And that's totally fine. I'm trying to use like a pot because I don't want it to um, like spark up at me. And I don't have like a Dutch oven or anything. We're really not doing much here. Okay, now here's one of the parts that is confusing me. In two different recipes I've looked at, there is no cooking of the eggs. And maybe I'm supposed to know that, but I would think that you have to cook the eggs. But you basically just mix them all together with Parmesan and pepper and stuff, and then like add it into the cooked pasta. What? I don't know. The recipe calls for two large eggs and two large egg yolks. If I wanna do, maybe I should do one egg and one egg yolk. Let's do that. Oh my God, me trying to only get the egg yolk is gonna be comical. No, no. I just sacrificed my hands. That was the stupidest thing ever. I don't even know. We're doing a generous amount of pepper. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna do about a third cup, maybe even more of nutritional yeast. Let's just freaking hope for the best. I don't know. Ugh, I, I don't know why I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting myself very confused. Okay, we're on low heat. I'm pretty sure I now am gonna add my pasta into this mixture, which I, I don't know. This is bacon. <laughs> I just feel like this is wrong. The heat is off. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad. 
I'm just confused if I should be safely eating this. Maybe I'm a complete idiot, but I feel like I just never knew that you didn't cook a little bit of the eggs when making this. But I guess that would make sense because then otherwise the eggs would turn into, you know, cooked eggs, like scrambled, and that's not what we want. Okay, I'm serving myself. I'm feeling confident after being so doubtful. I totally get the whole egg thing, but at the same time, not at all. So I'm just, I feel like this is just fun. Like this is a fun little moment for us. New York Times did that thing where they locked me out of the recipe unless I created an account. So I'm just gonna hope and pray I ended this correctly. Should we take a bite? Okay, here goes possibly food poisoning. Hopefully not. I don't know what I would have done wrong. If anything, it just tastes bad. It's not horrible. I had to use strictly nutritional yeast. It would taste 9,000 times better if I had real pecorino and Parmesan, but I don't, so alas. For me, this is probably pretty good. For an Italian, you can just turn off. <laughs> Stop the vlog. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all so much. I'll see you on the next one. Look who decided to join us, good morning. Hello, I don't know why these are just becoming like little morning vlogs right now. Actually, I know why. It's because the entire rest of my day, like specifically yesterday, for example, I sat right there at my desk and I studied and it was great, but you don't wanna see that. You don't care. So here we are, you know, a little bit later. Today's morning two where I'm trying to get up early. I made sure I still got eight hours, that was important to me, but I'm actually going to get up and go for a run right now, which I'm excited about. I'm gonna go drive to like this really pretty location so I can run by the water. And, oh, I'm filming the rest of a video today where I am reviewing the Lululemon. I don't know what I'm doing. I was like trying to look at a straw. I don't know why I need a straw. I'm reviewing the Lululemon um, new running shoes and I've been on a walk in them. I've tested them like in my apartment. I've looked at them, etc. but I wanna go actually run in them because that's kind of the point and I'm gonna film it and share the experience. I just get so mortified filming so much in public. So I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> also, I think this would only be the second run I've gone on since my half marathon. I went on one the following week and that's it. And I kind of feel like I knew that was gonna happen because running for me doesn't come as natural. Like that's why I always wanted the half marathon kind of looming in the back of my brain because it's a motivator. But I'm having so much fun getting back into the gym and strength training and that is just kind of like lighting my fire right now. Do a little bit of both, lean into the strength training and just run when I can. Cause I have no plans of running another race yet. <laughs> cereal, cereal, let's have some cereal. I literally just put this away. Perfect. I think if I could, I would have cereal every day. And you know what? I can, I just love it. I love the simplicity. I love the ease. I know they were a sponsor of this channel, but Magic Spoon is actually so sick and delicious. I've used my own code on them multiple times. I just need to repurchase, but it's actually phenomenal. This is also fairly good too. This is the one from Costco from Premier Protein. I like it. I'm still dealing with these little tiny little worms of eyebrows. And I got my brows done, which I'm not the most happy with, but I feel like I never like my brows, like the minute I leave, and especially because I'm so red right now. I just told her, please don't go very thin. I don't know, but it's fine. I think they don't look bad when I fill them, uh, but I just, I don't know. I didn't like them before and I definitely don't like them now, so maybe I just don't like my eyebrows. Maybe it's just a personal problem. I have been filling in my eyebrows since like the ninth grade. I remember one of my friends was like, do you fill in your eyebrows? And I got so self-conscious about it, but like literally why? And there's some gaps in there. Me thinking I was gonna like, you know, get up early and get my day started so I could get this run done super early in the morning. And then me also spending an hour on TikTok. <laughs> my defense, I was trying to make a TikTok, but it doesn't help the cause. Okay, here's the outfit. We got double layered up on the tops. Eh, gym plus coffee leggings and my shoes. I'm basically trying to decide if I need a different size for these. And they have a 30 day trial, which is so fantastic. Every running company should have that. Maybe they do, they probably do. I just can't decide if they are too big on me or not. They kind of look like they're making my feet look bigger than they are. I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, delusional. Okay, I just got back from the run. I won't spoil how it went, go watch that video. Find out all of my fun little secrets on the shoes, but I'm gonna go home, shower, get ready, and then hopefully we have like something really exciting happening later this afternoon. And I don't wanna spoil it, I don't wanna jinx it, but I also wanna speak it into existence. So let's just say like for now, send me good vibes, good will, good wishes, and um, positive light for this hopeful natural light situation. 
Wink, 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 wink. Oh, yeah. And it's you, shape of your body, it's you. Break them all, have it up. Oh, oh. Break them all, have it up. Keep secrets just to keep you and I. I think I need to start investing in popsicles. <laughs> I love popsicles and I always want to have something like kind of cold when I get back from a hot workout. I could make a smoothie, but it's going to take me so long. What if I came up with my own fruit filled, protein filled ish popsicle? I'm sure there's a recipe out there before. When I used to live in New York City, I would go all of the time to Chloe restaurant, like ice cream bar, frozen yogurt, frozen pops, whatever it's called. They're so stinking good. The only ingredients that she uses is fresh fruit. And I want to say it's like simple syrup or agave or something like that. Like it's just two ingredients basically or whatever fruit that you choose. And it was so delicious and so refreshing. And I miss that so much. I know there's other locations and I've seen the Chloe Pops at Target and they're good, but nothing's as good as like the actual cup of Froyo with the toppings, everything. It's time for survival. Good morning, happy World Health Day. This is gonna be so delayed by the time you see this video, but that doesn't mean that you can't get up and celebrate who you are, your body, your mental, your physical health, and just how far you've come on your journey and whatever part of your journey you're at. Celebrate yourself today. It's just a fun day to be grateful. Speaking of grateful, I am grateful I just moved my body. Also, I literally already have a spoon. What am I talking about? I don't know. You know, just studying and stuff to do today. It is, I think, 72 degrees outside, which is, such an anomaly for March. All this week it's been 50, rain. I mean, you saw the hail, what? And then literally 72 degrees. So I think I'm gonna eat this. Um, and then as soon as Keith wakes up, night shift things, we'll go for a walk and just get outside and like feel the 72 degree vitamin D and I'll just rejoice with happiness and sit by the window for the entirety of the day. I'm not really sure how to update you on everything that happened yesterday. The news that I was hinting at, that was very obvious. I feel like our tour went like fairly well, but there were like a few things that were maybe like a little bit concerning. And now I feel like I'm left in limbo. I feel like I am. Try not to be that annoying person that messages every five seconds but all I want is information and all I want is hope <laughs> and windows. <laughs> yeah. Rishi. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad I'm like, I might grab a bat. Amen. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you I'm trying this for the first time. I'm watching this girl on YouTube studying so we can study together. It's like this really aesthetic, gorgeous video. It looks like she's somewhere in the UK or something, but uh, it's so pretty and serene. And we're working on this 50-10 system. So we work for 50 minutes and then we'll take a 10 minute break. And we've got this little, you know, timer in the corner working for us. And it's really cute. And it kind of feels like I'm working with friends when really it's just me and Reese. <laughs> I feel like in a way I'm getting a teeny teeny weeny bit nervous about my timeline. I just have a lot of things to cover in a short amount of time, but I'm reviewing a lot as I go along. So I'm making sure all of the concepts are really sticking with me. And I'm trying to be better about not like just rewriting the text. I feel like one, that's not the most effective way to learn as I've researched. And two, it's so time consuming. So if I just read and then I take notes on what felt most important and I kind of like teach it back to myself, that's valuable. I'm hoping. <laughs> hey, I graduated, you know, and I did really well in school. So we're just getting back into the swing of things. Okay, here comes my break, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Break time. Break time, Reese. Hello, it is I, your neighborhood hermit crab. 
back at it again in this gorgeous setup right here. I go through phases where I just move back and forth between my desk and sitting right here. Something about this feels less intimidating than being at a desk, which is so silly. I'm so annoying. I buy a desk. I use it occasionally. I use it most of the time, but I think because my computer is also there, like I think about editing and YouTube, etc. And here I can just kind of focus on studying and then, you know, kind of ignore that pile of clean clothes behind it. She doesn't exactly work very well, but uh, we try when we have to. Last night when I was sitting here studying, I forgot to turn off my little Oxford gal. So she's sitting here, you know, like doing her stuff or whatever. And I go to bed, I completely forget to turn off my TV. And I'm literally laying in bed and I hear somebody sneeze. I think that just about might have done me in. I was like, somebody's here. Somebody's in my home. Like, I thought that was it for me. <laughs> And it's just this poor little sweet girl like sneezing. I also have officially reached the point in my studying where we're kind of just like refining skills that I've already learned the bones of. You know, I've been like slowly introduced to a concept and now like the final chapters are just breaking down those concepts further so then I have more knowledge on each of them. But at least I have like the bones in my mind because you know, when the bones are good, the rest don't matter. I also need to figure out like what in the heck this vlog is because if there's ever been a more random vlog in history, I would love to see it because this Fluidity, it's not there, but that's fine. Life is not fluid in the month of April for Taylor. What is it? What is it? Oh! <laughs> it's medication. <laughs> Please be the doctor. It's from New York today. Ooh, ooh. Wham. Okay, let's pray. That I like these. <laughs> <laughs> These are A-line shorts from Topshop. They came extraordinarily highly reviewed. Should I put them on? I just got back from the gym, so I might be, you know. <laughs> it depends how highly reviewed <laughs> Might have to are. pump. Here are the shorts. I feel like, I mean, they fit. There's a little gapey. But I don't think I could go a size down. Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday, what? And like they're not skin tight, like they're loose around your thighs. I think that's kind of the point, they're, they're A-lines. Okay, here's the thing I feel like I'm groveling with. When I walk, I feel like they kind of bunch up right here. And I don't want that, so I think like based on the sizing here, we could size down. But then like they feel pretty fine right here, right here. So then I would worry if I size down then they wouldn't fit my legs anymore. I also just don't feel like I love them enough to keep them. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but uh, bottom line, they're at least gonna be exchanged if not returned. What do you think? Should I keep them? Okay, hi. It's been a few days, <laughs> but I actually just got home. I got all these packages and I figured I'd end the vlog by opening them because I literally just got home. Like I was in Kansas City for a few days. We're big fans. My parents used to live there. So it felt like nostalgic, you know? I've been really trying to like narrow down on certain things that I know I want for the spring summertime and that I have always wanted. And like, you know, you're trying to find the perfect this, that, or the other thing. Hopefully, you know, the search is narrowing, but we'll see. I love like a summertime jacket moment. Like normally I'll go for a denim jacket. Like that's the go-to because it's still summer. So you don't want something thick and heavy, but it's also a little chilly. So you need a jacket. Because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. But I don't want to always just wear the same one. So I saw this from Topshop and I'm really curious to see if I like it because it's kind of like denim with flair. <laughs> do I look cute or do I just look like carpentry? I don't love like how cropped it is. I mean, if I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt, it's definitely gonna be longer and sometimes I don't love that look. If you button it and you can't see anything underneath, I think that would look really cute, but could be like a fun summertime thing, like a good, another option. Also, I'm not losing my voice again, I promise you, but it does sound a little raspy right now. I'm gonna say like, this is a maybe. I don't hate it, but also I kind of like it. This one's from my mom. This is like a little um, Easter gift. I'm pretty sure she sent us some chocolates. Although I'm a little bit confused because it's in this massive box. So how much chocolate are you sending, mom? Are you Willy Wonka? Oh, it's like refrigerated. What? 
Oh, she sent one of my favorites. These are um, little toffee candies that are so stinking good. They have almonds and milk chocolate on them. And this, I think, this one's for Keith. This is a Bordeaux egg, which is brown sugar, chocolate, etc. Super yummy. Ah! Heck yes. Toffee's my favorite. This is a whole freaking box of it. Mm. So much toffee. Mmm, so perfect. Okay, last but not least. Have you ever seen those ads on Instagram for the body suits that have built-in bras, built-in pads in them? Because I have, and they get me every time because I look far and wide for the perfect bra to wear underneath the bodysuit. I wear bodysuits constantly, and I feel like it just doesn't exist, at least not that I've found. Or a tank top, like a built-in tank top, like a bra built into a tank top. I need that combination in my life. So I ordered from them. And I'm gonna give my honest review because this feels important to me. All right, let's see here. I purchased, I think, four different things. We have first the V-Cut Brammy. I think that's their nickname for what they call like the built-in bra with the cami, I'm guessing. It looks cute so far. The pads feel like pretty substantial. It kind of, you know, has like the feeling, I guess, of a bathing suit, but hopefully will be like a teeny bit more comfortable because bathing suits after a while, you know, you just, you wanna take them off. The padding is also removable, so if you need a bigger size, you need a smaller size, you wanna put your own pads in there, I kind of like that option, so it's not just like you're stuck as it is. Here's top number one. I think I like it, but it is like quite cropped, so I feel like I would only wear it. Honestly, I feel like I wear this like to the gym or with like high-waisted shorts like this or something, but um, it's probably not like a comfortable, Sure, I would wear out and about. This is just like too, it's too cropped for me, but it's really cute. If this is your style and you just like basic crop tanks like this, like with the built-in bra, uh, I think it's perfect. I, I mean, I love like the comfort of it. I actually think my favorite part about this whole thing is going to be the fact that you have no bra straps in the back. I think that's something that always has made me self-conscious or I've always been very cognizant of. I don't like it. And <laughs> knowing that that's fully eliminated just because it's not even there, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I would consider, consider returning it um, just for something maybe I like more. The size is totally fine, but if I wanna try a different style and just exchange it because the prices are pretty uh, similar, I think for most of the things that I purchased, they're about, I remember right, like 32 to $35 each. So if I could get something that maybe I'll wear a little bit more, I think that would be um, smarter, but I love it. I love it, but I'm considering exchanging it. Then we have the Razorback Brammy, Brami. Ah, I like this crop, I think better than the first crop because this is a little bit less drastic. Like I like a crop that's moderate, you know? The inside is like this totally you know, soft spandexy material where the outside is mainly where the cotton is displayed. I love brown. I love a brown tank top, brown jacket, brown pants. So I was really excited to see this color. And I think the color is like the perfect muted, gorgeous brown. And of course the razor back. It's not like that drastic of a razor back, but it's got, you know, the shape. Option number two, I'd say is definitely my favorite so far out of the two options. It's just like the staple for me. Like I love, 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 love an easy tank top to wear during the summer. This is so comfortable. I will probably buy this in at least three to four more colors. And I mean the brown, <laughs> so stinking cute. I think they placed the tags purposefully in awkward areas. So you can't take them off, but I am obsessed. That's another thing. Like it's so form fitting, but it also, I don't know, like it just gives the illusion that everything is just smooth and pretty. And I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. Little tank top moment. I love a tank top. I hope that you're getting the correct color of these because the lighting is always off in my room. So I'm very worried that uh, it's gonna show you this in the wrong color, but it's the perfect brown. It truly is. I'm noticing I didn't buy a single bodysuit, although that was totally how I just pitched this segment. <laughs> but I, I'm actually like, I think more dedicated to the tank tops with a built-in bra. And if I really like these, then I'm going to order the bodysuits. I'm cool with that. This screams like perfect summertime vibes to me. Like your classic tank top with built-in pads. Built-in pads! It's just knowing I'll never have to worry about it when I'm out and about. Another one just knocking it out of the park, baby. This is 
so stinking cute. Such a perfect style, by the way. Like we love a high neck. I love a high neck. And it's ribbed. So anything that's ribbed instantly has my heart, but wow, this is cute. Again, this one is cropped. I believe the brown was also cropped, but the brown is the least of the three so far. This is the most moderate. The green was definitely the shortest. This is extraordinarily comfortable. I feel like the green was just the wrong one to start off on because the rest of them have proved to be perfect. Again, with the back, this I love, like I love that nice little kind of razor back, kind of halter. So cute. So precious. So precious. Yeah, we're loving this. Loving this so much. Another one I could easily buy in 9,000 colors. Okay, and last but not least, this is a halter. I got it in a size extra small. It told me to size down. We'll see how that goes. I always get nervous. And this is an orange. A little bit of a bold move. I love the color in person. It's gonna be like the fun summertime orange. You know, like, I don't know how this is gonna transcend season to season, but spring, summer gal, I am. That's a big fat lie. You all know I'm a fall winter girl. Fall Christmas girl. Scratch that. But this is fun and festive. This one actually, I feel like you can see the inserts like pretty predominantly. So it gives off like, you know, bathing suit energy, but with the functionality of being a tank top. I'd say this one reminds me a lot of that trend on TikTok where you cut your sports bra and then you tie it up like a halter, basically to look like this. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting like from this back. Because of the light color, it definitely is the one that's most, not see-through, but sheer. I went with the bold choice of getting orange. So like, that's on me. And I do like the orange, but it's very seasonal. Like this feels like something I'll wear now and in the summer and then we'll see what happens next. I would be interested to try this maybe in black or like a wine, maroon, something like that because I love the style of it but I think the orange is so bold and because I'm also um, so pale, it's like very contrasting right now. Like the style, I'm not sure about the color but overall like so impressed. This is an incredible small business. What a beautiful idea and concept for a business. I just have always had this problem myself. This has always been something I've been self-conscious about. I don't like showing bra straps. I don't like the backing of my bra, like the clips shown underneath my t-shirts. All of it just makes me feel very bleh. So the fact that this could be such an easy solution, it's gorgeous. It truly is gorgeous. Thanks so much for watching like this kind of chaotic vlog, but we are used to that at this point in the game. We only have, I think, let's say like four to five more uploads before I'm back on a little bit more of a normal schedule. I've told you this all before, but I am just absolutely prioritizing my studying at the moment and that's taking up my biggest chunk of time every single day. So even though I want to be uploading like three times per week, if I can do it once or twice just for this month, um, I hope that you understand where I'm coming from and I'm just, I'm trying to be a better content creator, y'all. I'm trying to get my CPT. I'm trying to be an educated woman. And also for me, I've just been reignited to want to keep learning. Like I've always loved being a student. I've always loved learning. So after hopefully I get the certification, I want to go beyond that and, and get more certifications because I feel like that's just like the tip of the iceberg. It's the bare minimum that you can do. But if I can better myself and I can uh, continue to learn about something that I'm really passionate about, it's like this gorgeous little combination. Yay! Love you all. Uh, I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Let me know what you want to see in the meantime. We're mixing up content. We're having fun. We're enjoying ourselves. And I'll catch you really, really soon. Peace.